We're working in the kitchen today because it is like 15 degrees outside. And this is Miles' only day off this week. So we're really not getting a whole lot done as usual. But what we're going to do is take these cabinets off the wall and we're going to paint the wall. We still have um, some shiplap to put up in the kitchen on the other wall, so we can't paint it yet. Uh, but yeah, I'm just excited to get started on the kitchen. So we're going to empty these cabinets, take them down, and start painting. So much fun. Yeah. wall is finished and uh, tomorrow I'm going to be painting the cabinets with some furniture and cabinet Valspar paint from Lowe's. Uh, it's got good reviews so I'm hoping it, I'm hoping it's it's good paint. But anyway I'm going to be starting that tomorrow. We need to pick out a stain color for our wood countertop and also this wall over here is probably going to be stained as well and it's going to match the butcher block and the shelves that we're gonna put up. We have a cabinet in the corner, cabinet in the middle, and a cabinet cabinet on this side. So we're gonna have shelves in between each set to kind of make it look, you know, more cohesive. The only reason we're working in here today at all is because it's too cold to be outside. And I just I feel like we're not getting enough done, so I didn't wanna I didn't want to rest today. So I'll be painting for the next couple of days. And uh and then yeah, we'll get we'll get back outside. paint the cabinets day. I have uh, everything sanded and wiped down and I also filled any holes or nicks in the cabinets um, with some putty and re-sanded that down. Now the paint says that I shouldn't have to sand or prime or anything. Uh, I don't know about that but I'm gonna go ahead and try it without priming and see how it goes. This is Valspar furniture and cabinet enamel paint oil base. Wish me luck. Got a little lump in there. Oh goodness, here we go.
as long as as long as you sand it good enough it's fine but on this particle board stuff it's not doing a good enough job so definitely sand it and definitely prime it even though it tells you you don't have to now uh, these doors are the glass doors so I do have to paint the inside of these two that corner in this one and yes this is primer I sanded it lightly, but you know, like I said, it's particle board, so it's not really, it's not really doing well. Before I hang this cabinet back up, I need to stain this other wall where the cabinet is. Um, and I think we chose American Walnut for that wall. So I'm just gonna do a little section for now just so I can put the cabinet up and finish painting it. The cabinets on the north side of the kitchen are painted and I have all the doors on the back side. I have two coats of paint on that. So hopefully tomorrow I'll have the doors completely finished and then I will be able to move on to the other side of the kitchen. It's a good thing I watched Karate Kid as a child or I wouldn't know how to do this. It's bright and early and I just flipped the cabinets over and I'm going to start on the other side. The other side took three, one coat of primer and three coats of paint. Later today while I'm waiting on paint dry, I'm probably going to work on my new spice rack. I've got a bunch of cute little spice jars with labels in. So now I can start making my shelves on my um, in the wall spice area. 
I still need to put a piece of pine in there first before I can make my shelves. But uh, yeah, I'm excited to get started on that. I've had all my spices out on the counter for, since we moved in. So I've got a big, you know, two by one square that I haven't been able to use for anything. So that'll be nice to get them out of my way. But yeah, that's the plan today. Cabinet doors, spice rack. Okay, so the plan for this is I'm going to cover these sidewalls here with one by, and then I'm gonna sit a shelf on top, and then I'm gonna put another two pieces in and sit a shelf. Should go, it should be quick and easy and painless. Now these are all going to get stained. Uh oh, I'm out of nails. Now just as a reminder, these look awful. These are all going to get sanded and stained and then there's gonna be a piece of trim that goes all the way around so this isn't so ghetto looking. using Rust-Oleum American Walnut for this wall. And this is all I have, so it better be enough. So all that's left for my spice rack is the little trim piece, and I don't have any, so it's probably gonna be a while before I go to the store and get trim. I mean, it looks okay without it, so I'm happy. My bottom cabinets are looking good. Um, I still need to do another coat on all the doors, and I've already started painting the upper cabinet doors, um, and I still need to do probably two more coats on those. Also, I bought some black um, J-shaped brackets for the shelves, and they'll be here tomorrow, so this whole wall tomorrow should be completely done. 
that is exciting. Our shelf brackets are here early, so I'm going to stain these boards here and then uh, we're going to install our shelves. Yay! Oh, also I ordered some knobs for all these doors and they'll be here in a couple of days. He's out cutting my shelves right now, but I am not going out there, it's too cold. Thank you. 